Greetings there. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I'm a little later than normal. Got sidetracked a bit. This is David Richard Allen with Bouncing Tribe, Body, Mind, and Spirit. So this is where I'm taking what I've learned during my time here. And, and I found out it came to a point when I went for a simple biopsy to the tumor in my sinus, only wake up in ICU the next day. Got a cancer diagnosis the final week and went for an eight hour surgery the week after that. And my pretty much reaction was like, okay. That's pretty much how I reacted to it. So I am sharing what I learned with you. So hopefully it'll make it easier for you to handle the challenges that life throws at you and also make it easier to start handling what it's already thrown at you. So today's topic, start and stop or slow and steady. A couple of ways we can kind of go about this. And I think you're going to get the idea fairly quickly. And the idea is how much often do we start something ourselves, working our body or buying our spirit. We go so far, we get thrown off. We go so far, we get thrown off. That's the start, stop, start, stop. That makes it a little difficult to do versus slow and steady. If you can keep slow, steady progress, means you at least keep moving. That's why you know I'm real big on baby steps. You at least keep, keep moving. If you want to take an analogy to make this come out a little more visual, I remember I was at a conference and the guy was talking about your business and he goes, it's like putting a bag of microwave popcorn in the microwave. Give me, you put it in, start the timer, then stop it, open the door and look at it. Close the door, start the timer, open up, take a look at it. Close the door, start the timer. So you look at it, you realize the popcorn's not going to pop. Now, another way you can also think of this, if you've ever pushed a car, <clears throat> vehicle, or got something heavy moving like that, and if you've done that, you realize how much effort and strength and exertion it takes to get the vehicle actually moving. But once it's moving, that initial kickstart, then the inertia kicks over, and it's usually much easier to keep it going from that. Same thing here with balance the triad. And am I perfect at this? Oh, heck no, I'm still dealing with it. I get a little off track right now. And if you notice over the past couple of videos, I've been a little consistent with that, not something steady. Uh, for me, it happened to be this past week and I was at a horse show, so my timing threw off. And part of it is I let it. There's always things we can choose to do. This is where the big uh, Craig Ballantyne's always big about, say so you get 15 minutes earlier than what you normally do, and you spend that 15 minutes doing whatever it is the project you weren't doing. That's how you wrote three books. <clears throat> But the best thing to do is make slow, steady progress every day. Because once you stop, you got many times, not always, you got to start all over again. You got to get yourself going. Now, I say not always, because you're definitely not, most of the time you're not starting completely from scratch because you got whatever work you did. So you made some progress. It might just take you a little bit to get back into it. But I guess I'm referring to the actual mindset of sorts to get into, to use that momentum to go with you. And this can go both ways. You start thinking negative, you can actually show if you go down to that rabbit hole of the negativity, the sorrow, the victimhood, and all that there, where things are going to do you a damn bit of good. It's not going to make things worse. But at the same time, you can go in the other direction, make it more positive, bring the positive things into your, into your life, what are the things you can do, what are you grateful for, what are the steps you can take today. That can make you positive and keep the momentum going the other direction. And it's a choice for you. Just like I mentioned yesterday. Everything you do is a choice. You get to decide how you're going to react to something. Or I should say... There's a little better term for that, and this is, I'm going to, you know I go off on tangents here if you've been watching me. React versus respond. React is think about a gut reaction. You don't think about it, you just respond. Sometimes those, those can be the situations where sometimes you regret what you said. Versus respond. Respond is sometimes where you take a moment, sometimes you can take quite a moment before you process it and then respond to something. So there is a difference in that. But... Go through and find out where are you starting and stopping at or just not even going anywhere versus what are the areas in your life that you are able to make slow and steady progress. Baby steps each day. And again, I am guilty of it right now because the past uh, several days I have not been very productive. And that's why it made me think, it's like, okay, I let myself get off track. Excuse me, so I got to get myself back on track. So it's going to take a little bit of effort mentally to get going again. All right, so that's the one for the day. Let me know your thoughts on that. Where, what is your experience on that starting stuff and versus slow and steady progress? And maybe where are you dealing with that at right now? All right, so enjoy the rest of the day. We'll catch you next time and balancing to you. Bye. And as usual, sometimes, well, not as usual. Let me get the button, then we'll say goodbye. So let's try this again. Bye-bye.